I was just going to say that in sharing with him, why, you know, I've been preaching that uh, on the New World Order. And that shakes a lot of people up because when you say something like that, their mind goes to a certain realm of teaching out in the world and even in the church world. But the New World Order is the church. The church is the New World Order. But we've never been taught that. Because the church is the most influential body in the world. It's greater than any government. It's greater than any nation. It's greater than any principality. The church. And I'm not going to preach on the church this morning as such, but I want you to get it. The church is the key role. It's the representative of God on planet earth. And if anything's going to get done, it's going to get done because the church involves itself in it. The reason the world is in the condition it's in is because the church has been passive and laid back and not involved over the last 50 years or more. But the church is no longer there. This is an awakening of the church. The church is coming into an awakening and a stirring by the Holy Spirit. And we are seeing the results of the church being to pray, being to declare, being to speak the word of the Lord, how all the turmoil in the nations are happening at this moment in an intensified manner, how the swamp in Washington and all, everything is being exposed. I don't care who you are, what, what group you call yourself up. If you're corrupt, let's get it out. Let God expose it. Amen? Yes. And just do what He's going to do because righteousness needs to reign. And uh, so we're just believing that God is, is and I, I was uh, saying about John because, you know, I told you a few weeks ago that we're into a third awakening in America. Yes. In the history of America, we've had two awakenings. Well, we're into a third one. And John and I was just letting him talk. He said, you know, we're in an awakening. Yes. I said, well, you know, I believe that. I agree with you there, brother. 